Hello, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on surface area of pyramids and cones. For surface area of pyramids, a regular pyramid is a pyramid with a base that is a regular polygon. The lateral faces of a regular pyramid are congruent isosceles triangles that intersect at the vertex. The altitude or height of each lateral face is called the slant height of the pyramid. And if we just go ahead and draw this in here, that is the slant height there of the pyramid. The lateral area of a pyramid is the sum of the areas of its lateral faces, which are all triangles. And those are the blue triangles you see in the pictures here. And so you would have the lateral area being 4 of the 1 half S times L, where this is the side, this is the slant height, so instead of base times height, we have base times height being S and L. But as you go to simplify that, the 4S is simply the perimeter. And so 4S is really just the perimeter of the base. And so we could then just go 1 half times the perimeter times the slant height. So the total surface area is the lateral surface area, which is this here, plus the area of the base, and there's just one of them. And so the lateral area L of a regular pyramid is half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So 1 half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height is going to get us the blue faces. For total surface area, though, that's going to be the lateral area, the four triangles, plus the area of the base. And there's, again, just one base. So now we're going to be asked to find the lateral and total surface area of the square pyramid. Well, our lateral area formula is lateral area equals one half the perimeter times the slant height. So lateral area is going to be one half. The perimeter here, it's a square, so there's four sides that are each eight. So four times eight gets us the four sides that are eight times the slant height of eight and nine tenths. The product of these numbers is 142 and four tenths feet squared, and that is my lateral area. Then, for total surface area, Surface area is the lateral area plus the area of the base. And again, there's just one base in a pyramid. So surface area is going to equal that lateral area of 142 and 4 tenths plus the area of the base, which is just 8 times 8. So surface area equals 142 and 4 tenths plus 64, which results in a sum of 206 and 4 tenths feet squared. A canopy is in the shape of a square pyramid. If the length of each side is 3 and 4 tenths meters and the slant height is 2 meters, how much canvas is needed for the canopy? Well, we have a base here in our canopy that's a square, and each side is 3 and 4 tenths. Then we also have our pyramid coming down here, and this blue is going to represent the actual canopy. We have a slant height then coming down at the right angle of 2 meters. Now all we're actually looking for here, for this canvas, we're not going to be covering the floor. We're not going to be including the area of the base. So all we're really looking for here is the lateral area. And lateral area is equal to 1 half the perimeter of the base times that slant height. So lateral area is going to equal 1 half the perimeter of the base. There's four sides that are each three and four tenths times the slant height of two. When I multiply these numbers together, I get 13 
and 6 tenths meters squared. And that's it. Again, we're not finding total surface area here simply because the canopy does not cover and include the floor. Our next concept is surface area of cones. You can also find the surface area of cones. The net of a cone shows the regions that make up the cone. We have the base and this curved lateral area. Now the lateral area of a cone with slant height L is one half the circumference of the base. 2 pi r times the slant height L. So lateral area is equal to 1 half times 2 pi r times L, which if you take the 1 half times 2 is just 1, so lateral area simply simplifies into pi r L. So the lateral area of a cone is pi r L. Of course, the base is a circle. That area is pi r squared. So to summarize that, the lateral area of a cone is pi times the radius times the slant height L, pi r L. The surface area, you take your lateral area plus pi r squared, which is just one circular base. So find the lateral area and surface area of the cone, round to the nearest tenth. Well, lateral area first. Lateral area is going to equal pi times the radius times the slant height. So lateral area is going to equal 3.14 for pi. Our radius is 3 and 5 tenths, and our slant height is given as 10. When I multiply these three numbers together, my product ends up being 109 and 9 tenths feet squared. So that's my lateral area. Lastly, surface area. Surface area is equal to that lateral area plus the area of the base. So lateral area plus simply pi r squared. So my lateral area was the 109 and 9 tenths plus pi, which we'll use 3.14 one last time, times my radius, which is 3 and 5 tenths squared. Surface area equals 109 and 9 tenths plus 38 and 465 thousandths. Add these numbers together. And the sum is 148 and 365 thousandths. When I round to the nearest tenth, look over to the hundredths, and surface area is going to equal 148 and 4 tenths feet squared. And that is it for this lesson on surface area of pyramids and cones, and that is it for this pre-algebra book. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your effort. Thank you for your work. And now if I could just leave you with one last thought, and it's actually the secret to mathematics. Here we go. The secret to mathematics is